everybody, it's Claudia. So welcome to my first video of 2014. I'm so, so excited to be doing this video. This is my 2013 favorite, so favorites from last year. And I kind of can't believe 2013 is over. Like, it was a really strange year for me. It was a good year in so many aspects, and it was a bad year in so many aspects. But um, I explained that all on my blog. If you guys want to go read about that, I'm not going to get into it now, but I'll link down below my blog post from 2013 and my New Year's resolutions for 2014. So if you want to go read those, they're down below. Because I have quite a few products to talk about for 2013, I'm going to jump right into it. And the first product I'm going to start off with is lips, because I think I just want to start there. So we're going to start there. <laughs> So the first product I have is a MAC lipstick, and this is in the color Party Line, and this is just honestly the most beautiful, perfect red lip color. I'm wearing it right now, but it's so wearable, but it's also trendy, like it's a great red. I think it will be flattering on everyone. It's so, so beautiful, and it's been my most worn lipstick of 2013. I'm going to say 2014 all the time, but 2013. The next lip product that I found kind of towards the end of 2013, but I still love, I literally went and bought it in every shade, are the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm Lip Pens? Pencils? Lip Crayons, I guess? But they're super, super moisturizing. They are so creamy. They're super matte. They look beautiful on your lips, and they stay for hours. Like, I have not had a problem with any of them, and I just think they're such an amazing product. They don't bother my lips, which is amazing. And the color that I have right now is 250. Standout, remarkable. And these all have really strange names. I don't know if it was like some sort of theme or something, but they all seem very like Renaissance. I don't know what I'm talking about, but they are amazing. And I highly recommend the matte ones opposed to the um, lacquer ones. The matte ones are amazing. And then if you guys have been around on my channel for a while, you know that um, the only lip balm that I use and will use and have used for the last two years now is the Carmex lip balm. And it is honestly just the most hydrating, awesome lip balm I've ever used. It keeps my lips so hydrated throughout the winter and throughout kind of the colder months and it doesn't aggravate my lips every time I feel that like I'm having an allergic reaction to something or my lips feel really like chapped or just really uncomfortable. This is the Thing I grab and I love it. Kind of does what it needs to do. Now I have two nail products for 2013. These are two that I kind of got into during 2013 and if you guys have been around for a while you know that I love my nail polish and I literally could not I couldn't pick a color. I mean I guess 2013 was the year of um, emerald so if I had to pick a color I guess I would go with Jade is the new black from OPI but um, for 2013 products I was really, really into was Nail Envy by OPI, which is for sensitive and peeling, and it's a nail strengthener. And then the other thing that I just fell in love with, I talked about it before with you guys, which is the Chanel Lac Brilliance Extreme, and it is a top coat, and it does not smudge any nail art that I've tried. Um, some top coats will, like, smudge the black if you did little designs or something, but this doesn't smudge anything. It makes it super, super shiny, and I really, really love this stuff. So both of these, my nail base and my nail top coat, are my favorites for 2013. Next, I have one hair product, and this hair product is the I Love Juicy Shampoo from Lush. It is a mango, papaya, kiwi, and pineapple shampoo to blast through grease and make oily hair clean once more. A pinch of salt adds volume, while seaweed adds a touchable softness. So I love this stuff. I'm obsessed with it. It smells amazing. I've talked to you guys about it before, so I won't say too, too much, but I'm obsessed with the shampoo. It gets your hair so, so clean. It feels amazing. It smells amazing, and it just, like, keeps my hair like really really clean like I can feel it cleaning down to the roots and I just I love this stuff and I have one lotion moisturizing product for you guys I've talked about this in videos as well but I could not do 2013 recap without this bad boy so this is my true blue spa shea butter vanilla almond super rich body cream from bath and body works and they don't have this anymore unfortunately I was just there Oop. I was just there the other day and um, they don't sell it in the shea butter flavor anymore or scent anymore. I don't know why because their scented ones are the absolute best but they have this just without a scent. If you're looking for an amazing moisturizing perfection body cream lotion I highly recommend this one. I've literally had it all year and I'm still not even out of it but it's 
I just hit myself with it, but it's amazing. So it's literally the best hand cream I've ever tried. It is a little bit greasy, so I do recommend putting it on before bed where, like, when you wake up, your hands are so smooth. I don't use cream during the day anymore because I just put this on at night and throughout the whole day my hands stay soft so this stuff is freaking amazing and I love it and I recommend it so go get you some from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> now I have a bunch of eye products so I'm gonna try and go through these pretty pretty quickly but the first product I have for you guys which I talked about in my last favorites video is the Gimme Brow from Benefit and I have the darker one I don't know it's medium deep basically it's a brow gel but it's tinted so you run it through your brows I have it on today and it just doesn't make your brows look too thick or fake or drawn on because I know when I use um, a pencil or an eyeshadow I always find that my brows are just too much for me like I love the bold brow look but as you guys can tell I have pretty thick dark eyebrows and so I don't want to make them any darker than they have to be so this just keeps them in place it makes them gives them an even like finish and I'm in love with this stuff and for brows I highly recommend it. The next thing I used a lot I think more than any other year this year are paint pots from MAC and the color that I have to show you guys is in Morning Frost and it literally is the color that I've used most this year. I've got such a deep like divot in my pan and it was limited edition so I'm really sad about that but I think paint pots are amazing to go under eyeshadows. They really boost the color payoff and I think they look really pretty by themselves. If you want to just throw on a paint pot and then do a little wing liner you are literally so good to go. And with a lot of the paint pots I found that they kind of reflect light really nicely so towards your crease they look a little bit darker and in your tear duct they look a little bit lighter depending on the shade of course and I just love that. They're such an easy look to pull off. They're such a quick makeup thing and you can blend them really nicely so if you have a darker paint pot with a lighter paint pot you can create a whole eye look with that and I just think they're super super amazing they stay on me all day and I love them the next eye thing I have for you guys is the Benefit Their Real Mascara I've tried a ton of different mascaras this year and I loved the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara as well but this one literally takes the cake for me I just keep coming back to it I keep going back and be like oh I love this one so much and it's just they're so lengthening it's so thickening it's amazing and it has like a little ball on the end of the applicator which is great for kind of getting those outer lashes and kind of really making them defined and long and then it's great for your bottom lashes as well so this was my favorite mascara of 2013 hands down. And then my favorite liner for 2013 I got kind of into liquid liner this year I've never really tried it before and I got the Stila Stay All Day in black I believe it's like blackest black intense black and it's just so good it stays all day it's great for creating like winged liner it's nice because the pen is so thin and you can kind of just really get really you can really get really close to the lash line and it's just I love it I love it so much and it doesn't bleed which I really like because I found some other liquid liners kind of tend to bled into the color or my eyeshadows and this one doesn't bleed it stays right where you put it and I now, I think my most used palette for 2013 would have to be the Naked 2 palette. I found that this palette just had the most wearable colors for me. Um, Half Baked is hands down my favorite Naked or Urban Decay eyeshadow, and it's in this palette. And I just found that this palette had more looks for me. It's got a few different lighter colors that are great for the inner tear duct, because I like to keep my eyeshadows pretty light and then use a brown or a darker color in the crease. And so this just gives you a lot of options. It has a black in it. It has literally most colors that you could want and you can create really pretty eye looks from this one and I just think this is the most versatile of all three of the palettes and it came with me pretty much everywhere this year so this is my most used palette. And the colors that I most used in this were Booty Call, Half Baked of course, um, Tease and Verve. Those were my most used so they are the ones with little divots and Foxy is pretty used up but yeah. And, and Chopper. <laughs> we'll go with Chopper too. I really, really highly recommend this palette. I think it's awesome. And then I have three face products, so I'll start off with blush because who doesn't love blush? Um, the first blush I have is from MAC and it is in Pincho Peach. And this is the blush I reached for all the time. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. And it is just the prettiest 
prettiest blush ever. It looks like it's pretty intense on camera, I think. Um, it's pretty hot in the pan, but it does go on really, really nicely. And it's great because you can build it up too, but it's just a color that I found I could wear all year round. I think it suits my skin tone really well. I think it looks great on a ton of skin tones. And I just think it's one of those colors that you kind of have to have in your arsenal of blushes because it's just the greatest blush ever. I'd say it's my favorite MAC blush because I find myself reaching for it all the time. And it's in their permanent collection, so it's not limited edition, which is also great. The next blush cheek product I have for you guys is, again, I know, or I told you that I did a lot of traveling this year, and so I really wanted products that could come with me and be not taking too much room up and be very versatile and usable for multiple things and so I've talked about this product before I think last summer but I literally love this palette so much it's the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette and it is just amazing you have your bronzer which is a great universal color it has no shimmer in it it's just beautiful it's got the best highlighter I've ever tried hands down the most fantastic highlighter in the entire world like better than high beam better than what's up better than mac soft and gentle it's literally the best highlighter on the market and no one talks about this product it's amazing and the blush is so so gorgeous it's like this deep kind of rosy pink color and it has a little bit of shimmer in it so it's really pretty but this creates the most gorgeous face look it doesn't ever like you can repeat it for weeks which is what i did i took this with me on trips and i literally only use this and it's perfect i think it's literally the best blush palette and no one talks about it so I highly recommend you go try this out I got it from Sephora and it's so good you will not be disappointed if you pick up this palette this was my favorite cheek thing for 2013 and I don't know if I've ever talked to you guys about this product before but this is the MAC Studio Fix and it looks like this it has a little mirror in it it has a compact where you're powder is obviously and then it has for your little sponge underneath and I fluctuate between colors I've been N3 or N5 or something I've been NW10 and then I've also been NC15 so it kind of changes throughout the year but I find that this is the best 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 face product it's the best powder I use cover up and I use this on top and I find that every time I wear it people are like your skin looks amazing and if you guys know I don't know how much I've talked about this but I super have really bad skin insecurities. I used to have really bad skin and so when people give me compliments like your skin is amazing and beautiful and smooth and flawless like my heart is just like thank you so much. Like, it's just the best feeling ever and I think that this gives you a much natural more natural finish than a foundation. I don't wear foundation I just wear this and it's amazing. So if you're looking for a good setting powder or a good powder just wear in general because I do not like to put tons of makeup on my face. Like I don't do foundation, concealer, and powder and like I don't do all that. I just do my concealer and my powder and I think it creates a beautiful finish. I think it looks super natural and this is literally the best face product I think on the market. And it doesn't break me out which I love. And then my most worn perfume for 2014. Viva La Juicy is definitely, I think, will always be in my top five perfumes of life, but um, my favorite perfume this year, I'm pretty sure it came out either this summer or last summer, but it is Meow by Katy Perry, and it is just the one of the best scents ever. Like, it's super sweet, but it also has this kind of musky undertone, and it's a little bit, like, spicy, oh, and I just, I think it smells so good. I love the little packaging that it's a little cat with little diamond eyes and then the meow or the M little collar but it's just my favorite perfume and if you haven't smelled it yet I would highly recommend it. I also love Katy Perry's Purr which is the pre-perfume. It was her first perfume and it's the purple cat and this one is the pink cat and it doesn't hurt that it's pink because my favorite color is pink so um, I really like this perfume it was my most warm perfume and I love that I kind of have like a signature perfume now like my mom came in here and she's like what perfume are you gonna use for your favorites and I was like I have no idea and so I had my three most worn perfumes and she was like definitely meow so if you haven't smelt it I would highly recommend it if you like things like Viva La Juicy and Juicy La Fleur and 
like really sweeter like on the sweeter side and like Victor and Rolf and perfumes like that I would definitely go check out Meow. And then I have a favorite candle for this year which is kind of cool but it literally sat in my room since last Christmas. I've had two of them. This is my second one and this is the London Calling um, candle and I don't know if Ellen Blair know that there was a London Calling candle. If you guys have read their books they're like brand in the books is called London Calling and so it is just a tea and lemon scented candle and it smells so good it's so fresh it's so light and they actually have it at Bath and Body Works right now so if you want to go check it out definitely I would recommend that it just smells super fresh and super delicious and it kind of I mean I went to London in last February with my mom and so I got her the Paris one for Christmas and I got the London one for Christmas and I've literally kept it in my room all year because it just reminds me of that trip and how much I loved it definitely go smell this candle since I live in Canada we have no description on the bottom because we have French as well so I can't tell you what the description is but just know that it smells like lemons and very fresh and light and beautiful and I love it. This candle even beats out Market Peach for me. And then I have a book favorite for 2013. Um, I did a lot of reading this year which I was kind of surprised about but I read a lot of really really amazing books and I read three trilogies I think this year but I started Divergent and I could not put it down I think I read it in like a week and it is by Veronica Roth and it is a dystopia <laughs> book and if you're just talking about book and not trilogy because I'm not gonna give it away but I hate oh I hate how Allegiant ended I don't know if you guys have read Allegiant yet but I'm not gonna tell you what happens but I Oh my god, I was so, 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 so upset, and if you know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment and we can talk about it or something, because I need to talk about it with someone, but it was just... Anyway, not going into that, but Divergent was my favorite book of this year. I love the concept of it. I'm so excited for the movie. I cannot wait for the movie, and um, it's just... I thought it was my favorite dystopian book. I love Triss, and I love how strong she is, and I love that it's... Oh, it's just it's such a good book. If you haven't read it yet, and the movie is coming out, I would highly recommend it. Reading it before the movie, um, and then reading the rest of the trilogy because I loved um, Insurgent and I hated Allegiant. So that's that. If you guys wanted to know that, but um, Divergent was my favorite book of the year. And then I had two fashion favorites for the year of twenty four, twenty thirteen. Told you I was gonna do it. Um, that I found that I wore literally all the time so I'm gonna show you guys this shirt this is from daydreamer LA and it is from it was from urban outfitters and it was a one size fits all type of thing so it's huge on me but it's kind of this like bat winged gray really loose scoop neck t-shirt and I found that I wore it all the time I love the color I love that it goes with pretty much any scarf you can imagine I loved it with leggings and with shorts and literally with everything and it's really cozy and comfy and I don't know if they still have these shirts anymore at Urban Outfitters but I know I got this one for like ten dollars I also got it in black and I'm mad I didn't get it in the other colors but you live and you learn <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just like my most worn shirt of 2013. I wore it everywhere because it's super comfy and you can like dress it up and dress it down. It was my most worn shirt of 2013 and I love it. And then my last favorite for 2013 are these boots from Nine West. They're like combat old school style shoes and they're super warm. They're super comfortable. Um, I love them so, so much. Um, they have a nice little zipper so they're super easy to get in and out of. And they go with everything. They go with shirts, dresses, t-shirts jeans, leggings, like you name it, it goes with it. And there's tons of snow right now where I live, so it's really nice when I have a pair of boots that I can actually wear that aren't Uggs, <laughs> and I've been able to wear these in the snow and out and about, and they haven't gotten wrecked from the snow, they've stayed in really nice condition, and I haven't sprayed them or anything, but they're so comfy, so if you're looking for a good, like, chestnut boot kind of thing, I'd go to Nine West and look because they have great boots and I think they're a little bit cheaper than a pair of Steve Madden boots or something like that. So that was everything I liked in 2013. I hope this video wasn't too too long for you guys and if you're still here thank you so much for sticking around. I'm so excited for 2014. I can't wait to see what's coming. I'm just kind of over 2013. I'm just 
in the past, I'm done, and um, I can't wait to see what 2014 brings. So I hope that you guys had a great 2013, and I'd love to know what your favorites of 2013 were in the comments, or what your New Year's resolution is, or anything like that. And again, if you did want to go visit my blog to see some of the other things I talked about during 2013 and 2014, the links are down below. Same with all of my social media links, so if you want to follow me on any of those, I try and keep those updated as often as I can for you guys. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up for my first video of 2014. And if you like my videos in general, I would love if you subscribe. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope to see you guys then. And I think that's all for this video. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.